Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Fan be with you, and welcome. Welcome to my little corner of the interwebs. It's great to have your company. Now, we're just starting day 380 of a supermarket simulator. Now, for those who have been playing at home, I have got a, a range of hints and tips on YouTube Shorts. If you want to go check those out, if I can think of it when I get to editing, I'll put a link in the uh, top right-hand corner. Um, but that's Editor Fernby's problem, not mine right now. So if that appears, then I have thought about it when I get to the editing process. If it hasn't, well, um, yeah, I've forgotten. Anyway, day 380, as you can see, the uh, restockers are hard at work here. Now, one of the things I always do at the uh, at the start of the day is go over to market and look at any price changes. Now, if you're unaware, the price changes are do automatically appear on the screen um, but if you've got a memory like me and it's like a sieve um, you forget so I always come over here just scroll through your list of products that you have on sale uh, so that your products have on, uh, on for sale I should say and like for instance this one here uh, soda cola and uh, that's got a little down arrow in it that indicates that the price has gone down so I need to go over to the stock and change that. So we're looking at soda. So we've got black soda, which is this one here, I think. Uh, 370. Don't know whether I've changed that before. So we'll look, have a look for the other one. If there's any others. Uh, if the prices have gone down, it'll obviously be a down arrow. If the prices have gone up, it will be an up arrow, strangely enough. So yeah, this is just a uh, one of the ways you can check if you uh, forget what the list is when you start the day. And uh, yeah, always forget, so always have to check. Okay, well I can't see any more that has any price changes. So I did have some stock lined up, uh, 10 chickens. So let's just order that straight away. And yeah, that's not a full hazard at all. Now with the uh, chickens there, I just throw those anywhere because the, the, the packers will grab those when needed and throw them straight into the uh, into the refrigerator, or into the freezer rather. Again, I tend to go with any holes of gold type of technique in regards to the storeroom here. And uh, like at the bottom here, as you can see that it's got a tag on it for frozen vegetables, I think that one is. You throw a new product down and that tag changes straight away to, to whatever you put there. So uh, some people do have particular spots in their storeroom for particular products and that's fine. Um, I don't, but that's just how I play the game. Uh, if you don't agree with that, uh, you let me know in the comments. Let me know how you organise your st storeroom. Uh, if in fact you do have an organised storeroom, do you have uh, particular places that you particular put particular stock, and and you only put stock? Get out of my way. Uh, do you only ever put stock in that spot? Uh, let me know in the comments, and you know, like, how do you actually organise your your storeroom? And to me, let's put that one there. To me, that means that some places will be chock a block full with stock that you you turn over fairly quickly uh, and others will be, uh, be quite empty which to me is not really utilizing the room that you have back here in the storeroom but look you do you and uh, yeah as I said let me know in the comments what you what you do I'll whack that one there just for giggles so that's all the chickens uh, that's 10 boxes of chickens we threw in there uh, as you can see that the, the chicken uh, uh, freezer is completely empty here's our lovely stocker putting a, a fresh lot of chickens in and you see four chickens in a box once he's emptied that box um, they make their way be it very very slowly take that empty box and of course throw it in the bin and then they go back and get the next one so we got the the restockers coming out and uh, doing their restocking thing which is groovy let's have a look at our freezers um, what else anything else in the freezers no nothing in the freezer that we need let's have a look around the store 
of anything made. We could probably do with some more cheeses. Um, from memory, I did actually order a lot of those cheeses la uh, blah, 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 yesterday. <clears throat> so I might just let those slide for a minute and let those restockers catch up. Uh, find out whether I um, whether I ordered those. Yeah, hang on, there we go. Did he just stock some of that? I think he did. Let's get over here. What's this one here? Uh, red soda. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Into products. Let's soda. Red soda. Five of those. That's going to be well and truly enough to. to no, and he's already stocked that up. All right. Look, look, let me take that off. Because if he's just restocked that, I don't need a metric shit ton of those laying around. Because they, I've got a full fridge full, and they don't sell that well. So there's no point having a, um, a big stock of, of that soda in there. These green beers do okay. Uh, beer, lager, and there's another type of beer that I always forget what it's called. So what we'll do is just order two lots of the green beer. So we'll type in beer... Got beer, lager, and beer blonde ale. I always get confused between the two, so we'll just order both. And then we'll cover both bases there. Another $325 spent, but it's not going to go astray. So this is where most of your time will be tied up in uh, in this game, once you get your store up and running and, and uh, efficient. Um, is literally picking the boxes up from outside and plonking them in your storeroom whether they're the next oh, okay no okay different product okay you can go there whether the next update has the ability actually this is one thing i wouldn't mind seeing is the ability to change these um, restockers so that um, even if the, the amount of restockers doesn't change at least give us the ability to change their role um, if i could have one that takes the stock from out here on the road and brings it into the storeroom that would be awesome and uh, sometimes you'd actually don't need four to restock the shop itself and it'd be nice just to have at least one to uh, to take the stock from 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 outside there uh, into the storeroom oh, I keep doing that don't I but at this stage this is this is what we've got so this is what we've got to deal with so oh, as you can see, they're busy restocking the store, and that can go there. Alrighty. Now, I'll, I should actually let you know too. If you don't know that, this is your normal walking speed during the uh, through the store, and that's just obviously pressing your W key to walk forward. Now, if you want to run faster, it's W and Shift. So there's your normal walking speed, walking, 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 and this is with Shift down. Oops. So you can travel a lot quicker just by holding your shift button down. So a good tip for you if you want to move around your store a little bit quicker, just holding your shift button down. Talking about walking through the store, there's probably some more things that we need to top up, which doesn't surprise me at all. These sell all right too. Um, this is what, parmy, I think. Uh, cheese parmesan. So uh, we've got to remember P, uh, cheese parmesan and scotch. No, whiskey. Okay. Cheese, parmesan, and whiskey. Uh, cheese, parmesan. Where are you at? This one. I do. If I make the mistake, then you know why. I've actually done that quite a few times. Mistaken this for this. So uh, I'm pretty sure it was a green one. So it will it order that one and uh, what i say whiskey as well and whiskey was this one here's a japanese whiskey uh, quite expensive but a reasonable seller and it doesn't hurt to have spare on uh, spares of that laying around too um not a big fan of um piled up and then just spilling over obviously being glass it's um it's not going to last very long if you if you do that but look it is what it is so the whiskey can go, or any any box of this size can go too deep. Uh, these larger boxes uh, of toilet paper only go one deep, so you can only, uh, you can see only fit one on a, on a shelf at a time. Uh, but these type of boxes can go two on a shelf. 
like so. Whereas, oh, we'll just get rid of that other whiskey one. And not there, we'll fit it there, we'll fit there, yep. Uh, and that's why I tend to order uh, two lots of products at a time, uh, five cartons of each, A, so that uh, it's very easy to see which products are which, um, and then I can put all the products basically in the same area in the, in the storeroom. Now these, these longer boxes, oh, look, I don't think I've maxed it out, I, I want to through, I think it's six. Let me know in the comments if it's more than that. I'm pretty sure it's it's six bullets, six boxes per bay uh, on these uh, rectangular boxes. So obviously got four there at the moment. They'll just come in and grab what they want when they want because we um, because we've got some spares. So that's currently being filled up. There's a red water there. Wouldn't hurt to top that up. So we've got red water. Um, that's okay not ideal but okay there's probably more that's that needs more more, uh, more urgent attention so we've got red water and books so pink spot books so red water water red five of those and when we type in books all our books will come up and um I tend to identify the books just literally by the color of the book uh, as opposed to the name. So if I refer to this as pink spot, well, you know, it's, it's this one here. If I say uh, um, orange, well, it's the Pikachu book, you know, pink, crocodile, rainbow. You get it. You get the picture. Uh, you get the idea anyway. So <clears throat> we'll continue on getting these products restocked into the into the storeroom if I can find a there we go find a hole for these damn things uh, and our restockers will continue on restocking our shelves and as I said before the day won't actually start until I, um, I click on the open open button over over here I don't know whether let's have a quick look through whether there's too much more to restock if there's not too much more um, I can actually re yeah, there's a full thing of there I can start uh, I can open up the store and start trading while we're gas bagging. So looks like there's only the one thing it probably need topping up. I did order a fair bit the day before. Oh, that that whiskey could be topped up too, but really it was only what we've ordered out on the street. And what's this? Bleach, large bleach. Um, what are we doing back here? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's not terrible. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll order the large bleach and then start trading for today. Large bleach, five of those. Um, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll throw in the whiskey as well. And what do we call that? Brown brown square whiskey? That should be enough to, to define it. There. Oh, Kidoki. So we've got a bit out on the footpath here. Let's, as I said, open up the, and trade for the day while we're getting the, the, these stocks in. Um, what else do we need to know? Uh, if you've got any questions about the game, certainly let me know. Uh, I'm certainly no expert at the game, but uh, up to day 380, um, I have played for quite a few hours, needless to say. So, uh, if I can't answer it, then I'm sure we can find someone who can. I don't know whether these... Do, 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 that can go there. <coughs> I don't know whether these actually uh, can be put on multiples. Oh, they can. There you go. Uh, multiple boxes on the, on the, on the shelves. Uh, but there you go. Did not know that. And as, you can, as you can tell is that uh, you can play for this long and uh, still discover things. As you see, I'm not particularly worried about putting the products uh, in, in a particular area. Uh, if there's a hole, then that it gets product put in it. Uh, that one there, thank you very much. And some red water. I mean, obviously the water is actually not red. It's the, the label's red. That's uh, the, one of the, the ways I identify which water I need just by the uh, the color of the label uh, where did I put the water see memory like a fish 
bugger it, I can go down there. So the red water is now going on the floor. So at least that, you know, look, I only, I only put that there like five seconds ago and I've forgotten it already. So look, what do you do when you've got a memory like a fish? Um, you work it out. I think that's another red water. It is, yep. Now, as you can hear, the registers are starting to tick away, uh, which means we've got a few customers rocking in, which is awesome. Well, I suppose it is 11, almost 12 o'clock um, midday for, for trading, so you'd expect uh, the customers are well and truly rocking in. Where did I put that other one? Didn't I put it up the shelf here? Yeah, we did. See, memory like a and goldfish. More scotch. I would guess that that scotch is full out on the um, out on the shelves. So again, any holes of gold, it goes anywhere. And our restockers will restock it as per need. I remember we put those up there. All right, let's go and check out what our customers are doing. Uh, did I leave them my? Yep, yeah, I've closed my checkout. That's fine. Uh, it's fine to. <coughs> Now, if you don't know, uh, when you start checking out yourself, you can now, you can see that on the left-hand side there, open a checkout with your E button or leave it closed. Obviously, I've got a, a close sign up at the moment, and so our customers bypass that um, cash register and go to the four that we've already got. Quick walk through before we start checking out people, just to make sure that we're reasonably stocked. Uh, these bags of potatoes, sell pretty well so I do keep a close eye on those as well as the toilet paper they're good sellers too uh, quick look around yeah, excuse me coming through coming through uh, there's our toilet paper there a couple of holes in the toilet paper but that's okay it's not too too bad what we might do is actually open up the checkout uh, checkout is closed yes thank you Captain Obvious oh no it's check it's closed let's go open okay uh, register 5 register 5 is open Come and get your stuff checked out here. Register five. Anybody? Anybody? Really? Do you want to be checked out? Nope. Now see over here, I'm, I'm going to be running short of that, that white yogurt there. So whether I jump off the cash register and order some white yogurt, I might even do that. You watch, I'll guarantee I'll hop off of here and go to order yogurt and someone will turn up. Uh, five boxes of those, which is ample for, for um, white yogurt. Yep, told you, see? Uh, customer waiting. Let me just throw this up here. Just to top it up. As you can see, what the amount that one box puts in, uh, five boxes is, is, oh, think about where you're going, idiot. Uh, five boxes is, is total uh, overkill. Let me throw that one there so that the pickers can pick that when they uh, are ready for it. And let's go, oh, excuse me, redheaded lady, lady. What we will do too is because it's five in the afternoon, it will start getting dark. Turn on the lights. Here comes the lag again. We'll see what ha see how we go. We're still on maximum resolution, so. Um, but um, the lag is real, folks, unfortunately. Uh, if you get sick of it, 95. Actually, we'll do that now because that is really annoying. Uh, settings, drop it like it's hot, down to low, save, and this will be um, a little bit easier to, to scan people out with that lower resolution. Uh, three dollars and five cents for you thank you very much get out of my store uh, some cleaning materials some flour dog food gun card okay 73.95 on card now as you can hear I'm not typing it in onto the uh, pad here I'm just using my numpad on the keyboard I find it's a, it's a lot quicker either way works look you do you if you're more comfortable uh, in doing it like this so we got 127.7 and then tick if that's your thing well you go right ahead I just feel more comfortable on the on the on the numpad on the on the, on the keyboard okay looks like you're going to be doing some reading to your pets uh, eleven dollars and fifty cents it's always good to give the, the customers the right amount of change too because they 
No, look, customers get be, be like customers and bitch and complain when they don't get the right change. So, look, go figure. 35 cents for you. Thank you very much. Get out of my shop. Oh, someone's thirsty and hungry. They're going to have a party night tonight with some ice cream. Um, I think there's a party at your house. 50, 75, 85, 95 cents for you. Just water. Three bottles of water. Really. Nine dollars. Get out of here. Come to my shop and only have three products. So I don't know. Uh, on card, thank you very much. 29 and 30. Easy peasy. Manganese. Ble I lucky we filled up that bleach too. And you can see that they're, they're starting to buy more bleach uh, off the shelves. Reasonable. Uh, reasonable seller. What I want. 40, 50. Oh, well. I don't care. That was five cents. Gave it away. Uh, sushi, both large and small sushi, sells reasonably and a uh, fairly high ticket item too. So that they're not cheap items. The stretch of my, the any stretch of the imagination. I can't English again today. Uh, okay, Blondie, what were you? Oh, you got some of the large sushi, a couple of large sushis, uh, some uh, ice creams, lasagnas. Look, I can give or take the lasagnas. They I think I've got a full fridge of a lasagna, but again, it's only a slow, slow seller, the lasagna, uh, as is the veal steaks, I think it is, uh, and the normal steak, I think there's a veal steak and, oh, a ground, ground meat, which basically is mince meat. Uh, meat. Give me your card, you idiot, waving it around like a bloody moron. One, two, twenty. Okay, some scotch and some coffee, a good combination, thank you very much, 73.30. Now obviously we've got to 9 o'clock, uh, and there's no more ordering after 9 o'clock, and now I don't really need to be checking these people out, it's of no benefit to me to be checking these people out, um, except that it'll just take longer for them to all, all check out through the uh, through the... Uh, the amount of registers we have. <coughs> so this amount of customers uh, through four registers just takes a, a long time. So, uh, okay, good on you. Seven dollars forty total, and you hand me a hundred dollar note. You idiot. Okay, what do you want? One, two, and no, too much change. Ninety-two, fifty, sixty. Adding's hard. I don't think I'd ever be a cash register person. Too much, uh, you've got to think too hard. Card, uh, 121.90, thank you very much. Get out of the shop. Next, got some uh, books and some whiskey. I read into that what you want. Vodka, look, the vodka's a reasonable seller, as is a lot of the stock that you put in your freezer. 150.8 we're coming to the last of the 45 6 35 coming to the last of the customers now most customers buy you know uh, well I've not seen one person buy one toilet paper it's generally two or three at a time so um, having a uh, multiple rows of that toilet paper as I spoke about I think last episode is the reason why I have uh, a fairly good stock range of the toilet papers. I think there's three different toilet papers and a toilet tissue off the top of my head. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Uh, I mean, chocolate bar, add a chocolate bar. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go close the register and check that out. Because chocolate's not something I normally run out of. No, chocolate, oh, you mean chocolate bars. Okay, chocolate bars is around here. Oh, fair. Okay, that's fair. Um, let's set that up for the next order. Chocolate. I think it's right down the bottom. Chocolate powder, chocolate bars. Yep, no, that's fair. Let's get five of those in. That should be enough to stock the store up. And our stockers are restocking the store, strangely enough, because that's what they're called. And let's just have a quick flick around to see if there's anything major. That's, we've got some fairly significant holes, but uh, a lot of those will be filled up once our restockers have done their jobs. And we might have another five boxes of crocodile, I think. 
Um, that's getting fairly low too. So we've got some restocking to do, but these books sell quite well. And once we do get the expansion, I will be expanding these this book um, shelf so that we have more and more. Um, as you can see, this this um, coloured one, I've got a full full row here. The rainbow one's got a full one. The black one's got a full one. Uh, the book I, I I won't share. Obviously, it's got a full one. Uh, but these others haven't, so we'll be looking at changing those to, to full rows uh, once we expand out a little bit. Well, the lighting back there is pretty pretty ordinary, isn't it? Last of our customers are going through there. Once uh, the last of the customers are gone through, then I will share with you the end screen, and then we'll call it a day. So uh, come on now. Oh, that's bald headed fellow's just finished. Thank you very much. Get out of the shop. Almost looks like Bruce Willis, doesn't he? No, just me. All right, you finished? Uh, what are you missing? Fa oh yeah, fabric softener. Yeah, we knew that was going to uh, run out as well. So let's look at the. Let's finish the day. Let's look at the end screen for day 380. Uh, 117 customers. Two products not found. One found ex too expensive. Look, one's not too bad. So I can I can live with one. Uh, income 13,665. So uh, that's about what I would expect for uh, with all the licenses. That's about it guys, thank you very much for your company, certainly do appreciate it, and I'll look forward to it in the next one.